For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The only people who benefit from war with Iran are the war makers and the war mongers first and foremost and then the one percent ruling elites in this country who benefit from the U.S. being the world police. The U.S. has military bases all over the world, right? I mean they've killed a million, over a million Iraqis in the last decade out of these wars, the so-called war on terrorism, where really the blood is on the hands of U.S. imperialists who go around the world, start these wars and you know, the people are the ones who can pay the price. It's the people of Iraq, the people of Syria, the people of Afghanistan. All the times that the U.S. uses its demonization campaigns, demonizing Saddam Hussein, demonizing the leaders of North Korea, demonizing the rest of the world. But the only force that's occupying bases everywhere is the United States. They're the ones who are assassinating people. Those are the ones who are dropping bombs all over the world, sending drones to do their bidding. And it's foreign working class people who have nothing to gain from these wars who are actually bearing the sacrifice. A few weeks ago, the Democrats and Republicans approved a military budget of $738 billion. Money that could be spent in so many other ways, yet New York State Senator Chuck Schumer said that it was meant to address uh, middle class priorities. But in reality, there are a lot of other priorities that he's not considering. Um, 700,000 people will not ha have access to food stamps anymore. That's a priority for American people. 400,000, uh, 40,000 veterans um, are homeless. That's a priority for American people. One in ten New York City public school students are homeless. That's 114,000 students and that's a priority for American people. Medicare for all is a priority for 200 million people. Um, free education for all is a priority. That military budget could pay for 21 million college students to get four years paid. Like, that's a priority. We totally condemn this act that we will do all that we can. Yes, as Lindsay has said, Johnson may have a majority in Parliament, but we'll do all that we can, both, yes, in Parliament as Labour opposition, but also on the streets, in demonstrations, and actions that we will need to take to ensure that we demonstrate that we are totally opposed to this act of aggression, this escalation towards war. 
the Democrats are acting like they're the resistance, but they're really crazy, they're delusional. They have no idea what's important to American people. They just want to send our brothers, our sisters, our cousins, our neighborhood, our community out to fight a war, a rich man's war. And in reality, what we should be doing is denouncing all war efforts, all money that will go into corporate po uh, pockets, and we should be using all those resources to meet human need here in the United States and not killing people abroad. So we say here, no war in Iran, get the troops out of Iraq, get the troops out of the Middle East, and stop intervening in Latin America. Middle East, no justice, no peace!